Hey guys, happy spring to you. I hope you're soaking up all the sunshine and just getting a wonderful start in your new garden. Today I got a couple of news I want to tell you. The first one is about these beautiful winged creatures. They are the monarch butterflies. Over the weekend on treehugger.com, this website that posts really interesting articles about our environment, they were talking about how these monarch butterflies, their population is declining and, you know, because they're losing their habitats. So simply just by growing some milk weeds, which is um, a plant, a food source for them, you can help to increase their population and plus you get to enjoy them in your garden when you grow these right so um, the only food that they eat is called milkweeds there's a few varieties out there I grow two of these varieties the first one is um, like this mini tree here is actually a big plant called hairy balls they are beautiful ornamental the flowers are gorgeous and then you get to enjoy seeing the, caterp the monarch caterpillars turn into butterflies and fly around your garden. They are really hardy, super easy to grow. They um, can grow in a pot as well as in the ground. They grow year-round for me, but if it freezes over, they'll you treat it as an annual. So since I've grown these for a few years now, every single day I get to enjoy watching these monarchs fly around the garden and watch them reproduce, hatch, you know. Um, it's just, they're just so lovely. So, you know, it's just something really easy that you can do for these butterflies and also for you to enjoy is to grow these for them to eat. So this brings me to the second news and that is my spring seed giveaway. One of them will include, of course, these hairy balls and milkweeds for you to feed your butterflies. And um, there's a few ornamental and um, edibles for you. That is the Gloriosa flowers that are ornamental. They're very great for like um, container gardens and putting in the ground, of course. You can grow uh, these hairy ball milkweeds in a pot or the ground also. I also have the um, edible bitter gourd. What else? Oh, calendula. These calendula flowers are amazing. They're beautiful and edible. Uh, very last, I have the chocolate daisies, which are so wonderful when you walk out in the garden and you smell this pure dark chocolate smell. It's oh, amazing. So yeah, I hope I can get these seeds out to you guys. I'll link you to the information how you can um, get these seeds below um, in the information box. Uh, it's going to be at wendyland.com and of course all you need to do is just be subscribed here to this channel. I just need you to send your self-addressed uh, stamped envelope basically and that would uh, get you the seeds that you want. So yeah, that's all the news I have for you today. I hope you guys are enjoying your wonderful garden and just um, the warm weather this year. Have a wonderful time gardening and um, please subscribe and share this piece of news if you like to you know see more of these giveaways and to just help save the butterflies get more people to grow their food. So yeah that's all <laughs> I have to say now. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye!